All right, we win it. Fourth place. Here we go. Playing against Freestyler. Or Freestyle 13 er Ooh, he berserk he went berserk too. Good for him. Okay. I don't claim to know this variation. Let's castle before things hit the fan. Um, <laughs> oh, the half castle. Never seen that happen before by an opponent who's moving too quickly. Never ever seen somebody do that. And I certainly myself have never done that. But yeah, it's funny, when people try to move faster than I do, they tend to make more mouse slips than I do. scary. Okay, we're going to trade everything. Got to push the pawn, man. Past pawns got to be pushed. Sure, why not? Okay, I'll take a rook. So, let's just say that my opponent going berserk was perhaps not his best option. Although maybe he did it to save his honor. Because clearly going berserk against somebody who goes berserk is the only honorable thing to do. Clearly. Alright, so we're in second place, right behind GG68. Is he going to go berserk? Let's do it! I don't know why. Alright, here we go. There's no way that going berserk could possibly result in something bad happening. Bishop e6 is probably a lot safer. Okay, but we're fine now, because I've got all kinds of threats. I don't claim to see them all, but I've got plenty of threats here. Let's get the king out of harm's way. Mighty four is probably coming. I'm not sure if I should have sacked on F2. Oh, E5's hanging. Let's see what he does. 
Does he do rook takes e5? Okay, let's defend what used to be hanging and then worry about continuing in attack. Yeah, I don't need to trade or sack there. I just need to continue developing. Okay. That's a really weird place to put a rook, you know. Can I just say, that's a weird place for a rook, because I did say that, and I'm going to say it again. And now, okay, so he does defend that. you got to give him credit where credit's due. Oops, I walked into a pawn fork. which he didn't take me up on. Um, so now I transfer my knight to h4. It's going to be a bit of a journey there. One, two, three. If he moves his knight, maybe I don't bother with that. Okay, he's going to play knight e5, or not. Um, that sucks. That's not where I wanted to put my knight. Oops. That's pinned. <laughs> I almost lost big material there. That would have been sad. And mate. Oh yeah, why king g7 back there? It's because it's a waiting move. I didn't see any good moves, so I just played a waiting move. Alright, our opponent's not going berserk, and he happens to be rated way higher, so we're not going to go berserk against him. There we go, f5. Oops, that's bad. That's a theoretical novelty, guys. You'll read about it in the next ECO. Oh, yeah, I'm just lost. All right, well, that was fun. People ask me why I'm a good chess player. I don't know how to answer that sort of thing. <laughs> I just have fun playing. Maybe that's the greatest good. Is that you just have to have fun and learn. Like, for example, don't play f5 in that position. Now granted, there's probably easier ways to learn that than to actually fall into it, but um, yeah. That was entertaining.
Bishop G4 is coming. Okay, D4 is attacked so many times, we're just going to push. And we're going to break this pin before it happens. Also freeing the C4 square for my use. And I have a choice between E3. In fact, I'm going to E3 anyway. And we'll just take the queen side, right? Take my knight. He might do it. Okay, I've got a triple attack on a6, and now we just take a6, and cry because we're giving up material. That's sad. Or is it? I can't calculate here. This is actually kind of complicated. Um, okay, that denies the knight f4. Man, this is not the kind of position you want to play with less than a minute on your clock. I'm just saying. There's some fun in games, and then there's this one. Gotta go back. Uh, this is not good. This is not good. Uh, this is perhaps survivable. I hope that's not a lost end game. King takes c3? Nope. All right, that was exciting. Yeah, I was playing white there. Well, that was fun. Not really, because I was down a minute that end game. He had a minute 15, I had 15 seconds, and I outplayed him. End games are hard. But yeah, so far I've gone berserk every game this tournament. Maybe I should continue doing so. Who knows? Going berserk is fun. Unless your opponent's rated higher than you are. And then it's a bit less fun. Yeah. Let's go Berserk, man.
bishop g5 is happening, or bishop f4? Okay, we're going to play bishop f5 because he did g5. I'm going to make some imbalance here to make it interesting. Um, my bishop's on a bad square. What do I do about that? Let's give my bishop a new home. g6, apparently. <laughs> what a weird home. Okay, so if I could play a6, my queen would be safe on d6. Um, and once my queen's safe on d6, then... Oh, well, there is that. That is kind of annoying. So it makes more sense for my queen to be over here. I think. Um, okay, if he can play that game, I can play it too, right? So he moves his knight back, and then I'm going to play knight a5. And then if he plays b4, I just do knight c4, just like he did with knight c5. Oh. Yeah, okay. I can calculate, maybe. Whatever. Exchange sack time. Or not. Yeah, maybe I'm just sacking a whole piece. Those are more fun to sack than exchanges anyway. Especially when you haven't calculated them. I should have done bishop d3. Uh, it's a bit late, but okay. At least this attacks something. Let's get some initiative here, guys. We're going to need it. Okay. Oh, I thought he had another check here. He lacks a check. Boy, did I get lucky. I thought queen c8 was going to happen, but I've got that covered. Alright. Well, thanks to tactics, I got a free pawn. And it only cost me what? He's got two knights and a pawn, and I've got a bishop? So it cost me only a knight and a pawn to win a pawn. Right? Why didn't I do bishop f8? Oops, that would be a sack. That'd be a sack if there ever was one. Hey, everybody. Okay, we're almost getting equal on material. Only a few more pieces to go. There's, yeah, now we got material equality, guys. That was exciting. Yeah, I think Blitz games without an increment are pretty silly for exactly that reason. Um, that your opponent could have played well the whole game until the last few moves, and then suddenly the result gets reversed because of silly tactics. Alright, yeah. Splatter chess. He's gonna splat me. Just watch. Um, oops, I gotta take here. Okay, 
or sacking material. Nothing unusual about that. It seems to be my MO. Just give up material and then see what happens. It's probably not the way a professional chess player would handle the position. Um. Yeah, I have control over the dark squares. Would you believe that? I would. Because I like sack to the house to get control of these squares. Okay, that only does me some good if I play h5. Okay, we're going back. When you're already lost, there's no harm in like throwing everything, the whole kitchen sink, at the opponent and seeing if anything uh, lands a hit. So here we're getting ready for another sack or two. Um, oh, crap, I have to go back. Let's take that. Uh, crud. This position's slightly inferior. Okay. Yep, you got me. Thus, he's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight wins in a row. Every time going berserk. Yeah, no, I was down two pawns. If you're down one pawn, it might be a draw. If you're down two, it's almost always a loss. That's why I traded rooks. Um... There are exceptions where being down two pawns you can draw, but generally speaking that's almost always lost. Oh, I forgot to go berserk this game. Well, there goes all the fun of the tournament, right? Maybe I deserved a break. Yeah, so while I'm threatening stuff, he's also got C5, C4. Not sure. Oh, right. He had to move the queen. Okay, so he's got one, two, three defending it. I've got four attacking. So I could do knight takes or bishop takes d5. Um, bishop takes. Uh, this is complicated, but I think this is okay. And I've restored material equality. Which seems to be my goal in openings these days. Also, why didn't I take e7? Maybe I just don't like winning material. Um, yeah, 
Yeah, here I have to take the queen. Maybe last move I could have taken e7, though. So, we got an endgame, boys. And this one's not a favorable endgame. Anything but. Um, so I'm totally in favor of bishop for knight trade. Would not object to that in the slightest. And now we're doing better. Um, did I do rook d5? That looks interesting. No, my rook belongs on this rank. In fact, I should just win a pawn. That would be a good idea. Oh, wait, can I even save my C pawn? That would be amazing. If somehow I could keep both pawns. Uh, it's not worth it here, though. I need peace activity. G4 would have been more accurate on my part. Now we get this famous endgame. Some of you might have seen it before. I know he's trying to exchange pawns, but this is probably not the right way to go about it. Because um, this last exchange is going to be really difficult for him to accomplish. Um, Oops, that was bad. We're going to back up and pretend that didn't happen. Um, also that. I'm trading pawns here to avoid... Um, um, a threefold repetition. Well, the rest is technique, right, guys? <laughs> oh, the rest is technique. One. Okay, he doesn't want to go berserk. That's cool. Just trade everything. I still haven't committed which way I'm castling. 
still haven't committed. Although this is awfully suggestive, isn't it? But that doesn't mean I have to castle queenside. I could just happen to be advancing my pawn very far for no reason. Um. Still not committed to castling either way. Could change my mind at any moment here. Although, at this point, it'd be kind of silly, wouldn't it? Okay, we're going to castle queenside. I know that's a big surprise to everybody. Uh, yeah, I don't even know how to follow this up. This position's so awful. It's hilarious. Uh, what a hideously awful position. It's good fun though, right? I mean, if you were playing, you probably would have castled this way too. Hey, look! I'm giving up my rook. Isn't that fantastic? Um, okay. This forces a queen trade, but whatever. At least I'm not losing my rook. And thus my opening goal is accomplished. Not losing all of my pieces. Just most of them. Well, that mouse slip worked out. Bishop h5 is... Oh, he's not doing bishop h5. Okay. March, my studious king. Go forward into battle, fighting your entire battle by yourself. Uh, okay, this is not working. I wonder why. I could probably resign that, being down a rook, a bishop, and three pawns. Alright. Maybe castling queenside was not a good idea. But boy was it fun. It's like they want me to play boring chess. Oh, he actually saw it. Uh, okay. Most opponents don't see that they can take that. And I just push forward and smash things open and have a good time. This opponent actually was paying attention. The, strong, the force is strong with this one. Oh yeah, look at those pawns. These are such strong pawns. Oh, that didn't work out at all. Um... I might need a take back. Or 20.
Hey, I got a free pawn. And it only cost me my army. He's going to move this bishop, right? Yeah. Oh, shoot. I didn't see him that my rook had nowhere to go. Oh, yeah, two free pawns. Two for two. Maybe I can go three for three if I'm lucky. Oh, that's not a third free pawn. That would be too good to be true. Gotta offer a draw. Oops. That wasn't the right square to put the bishop on, but whatever. Yeah, I could have lost that somehow, you never know. I finished up one point from the start of the tournament, despite my ridiculous play. But the sad news is that I'll never know my berserk rate, because I didn't make the top three. But yeah, kudos to this guy, this Annelies Biz, however you say that, winning 679 rating points this tournament. That's well played. Oh, also, kudos to whoever beat Splatter Chess. That's an accomplishment. Um, yeah, so that was fun. That took a while. Um, sure, let's play the Hourly Bullet. Oh, it hasn't started yet. Never mind. I like joining tournaments after they start, just to make it exciting. Um, fine, we'll put another standard seek out there, see how long it takes for people to find it. Do I prefer to play with an increment if that's okay. So I see that there's a challenge for a 5-0, but I prefer playing with an increment. Yeah, I don't know what was wrong with my opponent there. He clearly, obviously... No, I'm just kidding. Alright, so e4. h4. Alright. b4.
Let's just say I come up with original ideas, guys. Don't be hating. D4. I'm just going to put all my pawns on dark squares. There's a dark square. Although I think A3 would be overkill. But, um... Yeah, go pawns, go. Wouldn't it be hilarious if I just refuted the Karo? I mean, you see B4 in the Sicilian, they call it the Winged Gambit. Uh, I need to come up with a name for my outrageous play. There we go, Rook G1. We're just solving chess here, guys. Refuting decades of theory with seconds of inspiration. Oh yeah, Kiro Khan refuted. Okay, I'm not getting a rematch offer. I wonder why not. But, um... Yeah, this B4 is probably not as terrible as it looks. H4 is probably dumb, but B4? I don't know. This is way more fun than the normal Karo lines. Ah, C3 was better. See, there was no need to play B4. Uh, apparently, Engine doesn't criticize H4, though, so that's pretty cool. Uh, See, so yeah, after E6, and we trade on C5, and I play D4, we're kind of back to normal, C. Uh, Knight of 3 apparently is not the most assertive way to continue. I probably should just play Bishop D3 and wait for him to play Bishop D7 or something. But anyway. Oh, G takes H5 was good. How is that any different than what happened? Knight G5? Okay, I have to admit... There's something for me to remember for next time we play this. Um, after h5, I should take h5 so I can play knight g5 and discover an attack on the rook. Um, I don't know why he's challenging me to that. We're going to challenge him back um, to 3 2. If he wants a game. It's going to be with an anchorman. Am I colorblind? No, I am not. Somebody else colorblind? I don't know. Queen takes king. Queen takes king. No. You got to prepare that move just in case it's legal. Um. On the other hand, queen takes queen, I can pre-move. Just won't let me pre-move queen takes king. You know, I like this color and scheme and all that. Um, I just find it much easier for me to use. This gives my bishop an escape square. Uh, we'll keep my queenside pawns together this time. Got a castle. Oh, 
Oh, there's a thought. What if I'm colorblind and I'm not aware that I'm colorblind? Well, I guess we'd have to have a double blind test to figure that out, right? Oh, King F8 would hang this. So let me play something that doesn't hang that. There we go, now it's defended. I was having so much fun, I wasn't even thinking about that. But, um, one thing's for sure, this opponent had an outstanding result in the last tournament. And he's a new player. So, there is some potential for that sort of thing to be happening here. But if that's the case, maybe I just win on time. Just gonna win on time. Just gonna win on time. Unless they happen to hang everything first. Winning on time with an increment is gonna be difficult. I should challenge this guy to 3 0. Yeah. Oh, he didn't play bishop takes. He says GG easy. Let's see if he knows this one. He might not know it. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe he doesn't want to take my bishop there. Yeah, watch my king hold all four pawns back, guys. This is where endgame technique is important. Because we all know the rest is technique. I don't know. Oh, he got a rook. That was clever. We're going to challenge him to something a little bit special here. Let's do 3-0. Oh, that was a casual game, too, so who cares? 
I'm gonna give this guy a 3-0 and give him something to think about. Yeah, that first move's a doozy, you know. Oh, is he gonna play the Italian? If he plays the Italian, we're gonna see some serious book theory. Apparently not. Can we get like the fried liver though? Fried liver would be fun. Knight takes a, knight takes d5. Oh yeah, fried liver. Here we come. King e6. Knight b4, queen e4, c6. That's not c6. That is definitely not c6. Never seen that before. Ever. Um... In some way it makes sense, but what's going on here? Okay, we're going to take d5. I think he's got me, guys. Okay, so my king's going to run to c2, I think. Yeah, I see where he's going next, but what do I do about it? Maybe just let him maul me. I'm not sure what else I can do. Mate in two. Oh, that also mates in two. But, you know, now we've played a rated game. Now we can look at his move times. And we've got move times. Five seconds, five seconds, five seconds, four seconds, five seconds, and such. You know. Um, so, between that and the fact that he's got 22 average cent upon loss. Uh, I think now we have a case. So... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Move times are suspicious. That was fun though. I think we're gonna learn, we're gonna learn something from that fried liver game regardless. Um, so, queen e4, b5. Oh, I should have done bishop b3. 
Okay, I considered this, but I've never seen this before and had no idea what to do. A3, knight c2, queen c2. Yeah, this is weird. I like this, but this is really weird. Um... So we got a 30-0 challenge, and we got a 3-0 challenge. We'll play 3-0. I don't think people would stick around if I played a 30-0. Plus, Ethan's been wanting to play a game for some time here, so let's give him a chance. This stuff is the best. Although, I don't claim to know this after knight takes. Is knight takes not the move, by the way? No, I'm serious. I, I like don't know what's going on. It's been forever since I've studied this, and I'm probably going to lose. Um, I think the idea is I play c6 and b5 and try to run my king over here. Oh, 30 plus 0 just means that we start the game with 30 minutes per player. And then each additional move we get 0 seconds added to the clock. Um, uh, this is ridiculously scary. I think king d6 is correct. Because I've played this position before. I don't remember why king d6 is right. Just that I think it's something I should play there. So I think this is the situation I've gotten in before. Definitely King C5. That could be fun. Doing it, we're going to regret that later. But boy, it looks fun. Pretty sure that King C7 is the book move. Yeah, Nico, there is no, um, there's no classical time control on Lee Chess. You either play with an increment on every move, or you just don't get an increment. There's no multiple time control games. Oh, pawn takes E5 is inaccurate. I could have sworn I faced this position, though. Maybe it was something very similar and not exactly this one. Um, okay, we're in check, guys. So I have no choice but to take the bishop. Or no option other than taking the bishop. I think I just got extremely lucky this game. Not out of the woods yet, but I'm thinking somehow I got lucky. Okay, where can my king go? My king can go here. Alright, now if I play knight b4... Only one of his pieces can take my knight. I can play knight c3 check. Bishop takes c3 is not mate. I can play bishop b4. That looks like a good developing move. Okay. Do I take the knight? Well, I have to. No, I could play knight takes b4. Then I think bishop takes b4... I don't know. 
I'm so confused. So knight takes b4, bishop takes b4, um, king takes, bishop moves. Yeah, that doesn't help me. King takes, b5, it's not quite checkmate. Um, yeah, I don't know. I'm probably lost here either way. So we'll take... And then bishop takes... Oh, I've got king... No, I don't have king b6. I wish I had king b6. That would be very nice if I did. Bishop e1 mate. That's not mate, but it forces mate. Yeah. This, on the other hand, and my king runs. Okay. Gotta take. Go, king, go. That was exciting, guys. Maybe we'll get another fried liver. Maybe not. We'll see. Ooh. We got knight f6. Yeah, we got the interesting line, guys. Oh, people say the fried liver is bad. It's really hard to prove it, though. Let's be honest. So I could play d5 and then e5, right? And this is just good for white? I mean, this looks clumsy. This looks even clumsier. This is why I played the Italian throughout high school, is for nonsense like that. Oops. Typo. <laughs> yeah, it's easy to make mistakes in these positions. Uh, so I've got that defended twice. In a castle. And this is going to happen, but whatever. Look at that knight. Can't go anywhere. So we just keep covering this square. Wait, I, wait, no, I couldn't take that. 
I thought I could, but I can't. Um, hmm. I like this bishop, though, so we're going to... Nope. Tactics, huh? Tactics, tactics. Actually, I'm fine here. Never mind, so... This looked scary, but I've got ways to deal with it. So we got this covered. Yeah, if you find me on Lee Chess and just challenge me, I'll I might accept the challenge. So it's easier that way than uh, for me to try to figure out who you are and make sure I'm issuing the correct challenge to the correct player. So if the knight moves, I got this shot. So yeah, we got a challenge here. Oh, this should be fun. Here we go. You know, that's a good question. How do you pronounce my username? Also, why am I playing E6? Maybe I'm inspired by the game I saw yesterday where somebody played a Queen's Indian. Um, maybe I'm inspired. Okay, so you got a semi tarash, tarash, whatever you want to call it. Oops, well, that's okay. I just happened to have lucked my way into something that's actually playable. Don't wager on that ever happening again. Okay, so I think I'm doing pretty great here. Yeah, that's forced because if the knight goes back, then this hangs. Um, all right, so. How do I continue attacking? There's got to be some way. All right, here we go. Yeah, this position's pretty out there. 
That's for sure. Oh, wait. This is defended twice and only attacked once. So my whole idea of, like, this is not... Seems unsound at the moment. Maybe it is sound, but I'm just not seeing it. Uh, so, what's the best way to concede material here? I've got to take the bishop out. And now we just throw everything in for some crazy attack. Yeah, fried liver thematic would be pretty cool. Huh. Check. Well, I could have taken that, couldn't I? Oh well. Actually, this is threatening in its own way, isn't it? Um, hmm. Okay. So, this position just went from insane to completely nuts. Um, Alright, just have to believe in the heart of the cards. Oh, he's got a perpetual, doesn't he? Wait, no, he doesn't. That's pretty funny, though. Note to self, analyze this game. This, um, this is way more fun than my usual fare. Do I go for a perpetual? Wait, no, I've got this check. This check is decent. Um, wow, what a position. Okay, check. Forgot that that would allow threefold. Okay, so let him win the exchange. Um, this position's pretty sharp.
Wait, why is he not moving? Feel bad for him. Oh crap. Um I didn't see that. Nope, can't take the night. It's, it's time to run, boys. Uh, and GG. Dang. That was fun. What happened? Seriously, I have no idea what was going on there. I think 95 was more exciting than... Um, I'm pretty sure White was winning before playing 95, and after 95, things were not so clear. Um, I should have gone with the Perpetual, though, because I didn't see a forced win, and I pushed a little too hard, and obviously got clean for it. Um, But yeah, what if I had given this check and not allowed that? Queen G1. Okay, apparently I'm still better here, though. But after Queen G1, Queen F2. Oh! That's brilliant. So, it was my failure to play Rook F7 that killed me here. Um, let's see the graph. So what was it? White had an advantage until playing. Yeah, as I suspected, 95 was not best. Where did things really go wrong for White? Bishop e5. Yeah, he needed to go for perpetual here. Bishop e5 is too ambitious. But until that point, he was he was doing really well the whole game. I thought. Knight d3. Should have just sacked on f3. Oh, simple, simple chess. And then we check, and it's all beautiful. Damn. Damn, damn, damn. Oh well. <laughs> uh, sure, let's play in the hourly bullet. Oh, okay, so I've got a 2100 rating. Maybe I don't want to play in the hourly bullet, like, after I've been losing games. Let's play... Yeah. Let's see if we can get a blitz game. By the way, this new layout where we see tournaments up here and then players down there, something that I've got controlled by uh, a script I wrote. So that's the new way that I like to visualize the lobby, because all the things that I generally click on, I don't have to scroll to get to anymore. Oh yeah, we've got this stuff going on. Oh, now he's got bishop takes. Um, well, we've got a novel position. Certainly one my opponent hasn't studied. Um, it's probably the only thing in my favor here. Is that I can't get out booked since neither of us knows this position.
Okay, so I get to castle and everything's a okay. I'm not sure what my opponent's planning. Usually I have some idea, but here I'm just totally out of the loop. Should just develop my queen, right? There. Queen is developed. Maybe I can follow with a6 or something. And just tuck the king away. Everything's a okay. Going according to plan, and this is no way, this is in no way the worst position I've ever seen. Um, but no, I've got b5 as a threat. Threatening to take the bishop, I'm threatening to take the pawn. This is a threat. This deals with most of the threats. Um, but now if pawn takes, I've got b5. Oh, but he moves the bishop and steps out of the pin. You know, when I've got a pin, I don't use it, and when I don't have a pin, I try to use it. But that's okay. Maybe I can double some pawns or something. Um, okay, take the open file. The rest is technique. Uh, how do I stop this? As in, what's a good way to stop it? This knight's cut off. Hmm. Well, obviously I can't take the knight. But yeah, bishops are more flexible than knights. How about this square? This seems to be a square where I'm not losing my rook. Also, I could have just checked and then the bishop takes pawn. But that would have been too easy.
That would have been too easy. Okay, so now the knight's trapped. I have to stop him from getting a past pawn. And now we hunt the knight, or no? Yeah, fine, we do hunt the knight. I'm not going to get the knight, because it can escape to there, but... Um, Okay, I want to stop this. So this card's e5, and a 4, by the way. So I can check him, and he has to go back. Okay, so we get a passed pawn. Yeah, he missed King G2. King G2 would have made that much more difficult. Maybe I was lost there, I don't know. Oh no! He skewered my queen. Whatever will I do? Another queen. Let's go for queen number three. Right? Check. Play to the corner. How about that? Queen two to h1 checkmate. But yeah, I got to promote three of my pawns that game. That's a new record, right? Um, here, let's play a King of the Hill game. Those are fun. 2035, wow. That's quite the rating. Let's play D5. D5 looks fun. Queen H5? Let's see queen h5. This is fun. So in normal chess, this would be a pretty terrible opening, right? Can we agree on that? I'm sorry. Yeah, you're right. I only promoted two pawns that game. King is in such hot water. Yeah, 
Yeah, knight c3 makes a lot of sense. And so now I have to do something about these threats. Um, let's just play knight c6. This attacks the knight. And yeah, my king is running. The king is definitely running. There we go. What in the world happened this game? I would like to know. I might have just solved King of the Hill. I'm just kidding, but um, seriously, the Elephant Gambit um, looks fun. Okay, Bishop c4, Bishop e6 is terrible. It takes, takes, King e7 is bad. Knight c6, I'm attacking this. Queen f7, king d6. Oh, why should just play d4? How does this work? So I guess um, knight takes e5, bishop f4. I wasn't going to take e5, I was going to take d4 here. But probably bishop f4 anyway. Yeah. So knight c4 check is a small blunder. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's king of the hill chess for you. Knight c4 check, king c5, and king d4. Oh, yeah, I, I suppose... Um, I find the, cent the raised center really distracting. So I play it this way. I'm sorry if that offends the viewers, but I can't deal with that. It's too confusing for me. Um, maybe I'll have to learn to deal with it just because the absence of that seems to really confuse people. So, more tournaments. There's seven tournaments listed. Ooh, a scotch game. Oh, that looks fun. So we got five in this. Oh, this has seven people. Actually, a scotch game's not that exciting. Some of us were saying we want to play a fried liver thematic, right? I'm going to make this casual, because the fried liver is something else. Can I get the fried liver? E4, Kiro, four knights. There's two knights. we not get a fried liver? Or is it not classified under E4? That would be weird. Huh. So, yeah. About that fried liver. That's kind of sad. You can play the bong cloud, but you can't get the fried liver. I get the two knights defense. That's halfway there. That's that's really too bad. Um, what else can we think about? What might be fun? Yeah, you can play the Smith Mora, but you can't play the Fried Liver. Um. You play the Trompkowski, but you can't play the Fried Liver. You can play the Hungarian opening. You know, because that has a name. Nah, we'll do something silly here. We play a, a 420. Um, 01, 420. Going for 20 minutes, starting in two minutes. Casual, of course, because this opening is dubious. Um, yeah, there's no fried liver, so we'll just have to make do with this. An 01 bong cloud. It's probably questionable. I 
I have a guess as to what the starting position is, but um, I can't say for sure. I think it's e4, e5, king e2. Yeah, this is... Oh, come on! <laughs> Way to take all the fun out of it, Nico. No, just kidding. Uh, I've won some games pretty quickly in this thematic. Probably works better in King of the Hill chess than it works in normal chess. Yeah. Give this opening the time control and the respect it deserves. Well, it looks like we might not get this tournament after all. That's too bad. Ten, nine, nine eight, eight, seven, six, eight. five. Best tournament four, ever. Three, two, one, zero. Oh, that's too bad. Eh, who wanted to play that anyway? Yeah, let's play a horde game. This could be fun. Expand the scope of the bishop, expand the scope of the bishop. Expand the scope of this rook. Oh, now this pawn guards f5. Um, but maybe I could vacate the e-file. Let's see how he reacts to these moves. Or at least that one. Um, so this locks some of the pawns in place. key point is that don't let the opponent get a breakaway. Um, this might be a good square for the bishop. Who studies the bond cloud, though? Hey, DV Razor, we're just solving horde chess, you know, one pawn at a time. Yeah, when I'm playing, 
I just call it solving the game. Um, because that's in no way egotistical or an overrepresentation of my moves. Okay, so I'm building up to making this threat of taking an F6. Okay, we're sacking knight for two. It doesn't gain me anything here other than an active king. That is one strong king. He fights his own battles. I might be busted here. And I might not. Oh, crap, I didn't see that. Um, didn't see that either. <laughs> oh, goodness. That was the best fork ever, wasn't it? You just have to hang something once in a while. Okay, we're leaving this rook on the first or the eighth rank, just because I'm afraid something bad might happen. Oops. H5 was forced. That was the wrong pawn, sir. But he's still winning.
that was close. That was so close. Yeah, he didn't promote the G-Pawn because he didn't see that it was necessary. Yeah, I got lucky, man. That's my M.O. Just play good moves and get lucky. So he's going to sack everything on that square. I really can't stop him. Oh, wow. What's this? Okay, maybe it's fine for me to hang material, because he won't see that I'm hanging it. Um, I don't know if I should have done D takes or B takes. Um, I'm sure I could take the knight. I get a knight for a pawn, but I'm getting that anyway. There's no way he's getting two pawns for that knight. That's what I'm saying. Ah, that sucks. We're giving up a pawn um, for some play. He's probably, oh, he's not seeing that, or just choosing not to take it. This prevents knight takes g5, though. Okay, where's the queen moving? Maybe back to b8. Oh, it goes up to c6. Okay. Hmm. 
Now where does the queen go? Yeah, black's been a little bit greedy or stingy with material. And um, he's just expecting that somehow this is going to fall apart for me, and maybe it will. But that doesn't seem to be the case. I seem to be a okay here. Granted, I could solidify a little bit more. Oh, I'm in a bit of time trouble, aren't I? There we go. That solves the time trouble issue. Oh, and I forgot, we don't have a, an AI that can look at those games. Maybe someday we will, but today we don't. Um, well, I see KC's also streaming as a soldier. I should probably take a break then. Um, cause I've been going for a while here. Yeah, I need to take a break. So I guess um, thanks to all for watching, and I uh, hope to see you around next time. And I just solved toward chess, you know? No, I didn't. But I like to think I did. All right, we'll see you around.